excellence, class, the best. Nobody does it better than the people of the great state of Michigan. We are used to the best when it comes to college football for sure. Bo, the Wolverines, the one and only University of Michigan, the noble maize and blue, class, excellence, tradition. And now this, the best the Big Ten, the best the state of Michigan can come up with this year, Michigan State, the Spartans, the Titanics of college football, the Edsels of the Big Ten, the thugs of Moo Yu. Tomorrow I predict that these coddled, overrated, violent, spoiled, second-rate goon jocks of George Perlis, the most overrated mediocre player in the history of the Big Ten, will disgrace, not Moo Yu. There is no tradition there. There is nothing to tarnish. But tomorrow, these beefy bums will disgrace the Midwest, the Big Ten, the state of Michigan, the integrity of collegiate athletics, that over the decades has been elevated to a golden art form by Bo and those stalwarts of athletics and academics, the noble Wolverines of Michigan. If the best the Big Ten and the state of Michigan can produce are the goons of Moo tonight we should individually and collectively pray that tomorrow in East Lansing, God ensure victory for Indiana. As for me, I wouldn't be seen dead wearing green and white, but let me say this, George, I don't want you and your men to win tomorrow. I want you guys to blow those Hoosiers out of Lansing through Columbus, Ohio, and then dump them on the overrated lump of real estate called the University of Indiana. Eat them up, eat them up, rah, rah, rah. Thank God for MSU. Bo who? <laughs> See you at the game. Guess who you want to win? <laughs> yeah, I bet the house, the farm, and one other thing on them. Good. Good night, Robbie. <laughs> Good night, Bill. <laughs> From all of us in the Action Newsroom, thank you for joining us. Have a great weekend at Go State. Thank you. Channel 7's Action News continues with Fisher, Eubanks, Inferbisco, Clytonic, Hodak, and...